everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC and today we're going to talk about our hanging wire uh, bunny pens and we're going to show you the specifics of how these wire pens are held up. We'll talk about the benefits and then we'll also talk about some of the cons of this type of housing. So the reason that we chose these rabbit pens, these are four feet long and they are two feet deep, so two feet this way. And then they are about 18 inches tall. That's the one of the first drawbacks is the height. So in these wire pens, this was the tallest I could get them. If I were to buy these pens again or have them custom made, I would make sure that there was additional height on these pens because for an adult rabbit, they can easily uh, stand up and um, jump this high very, very easily. So the wire pens are great for letting debris fall straight through to the bottom. And that includes the droppings, that includes extra hay, that includes um, just whatever little debris that we have. So these are secured with J clips. These are from Bass Equipment. They are uh, quite expensive to ship the two, the two foot, the four foot by two foot, because you have to ship freight. But for Angora wool and raising Angora rabbits, this is one of the most beneficial uh, housing that I've found thus far. So the reason that these are supported, the reason that these are hanging, is because you don't want things collecting on the wood. This is a piece of wood. This wood collects all sorts of things. It collects hay, it collects wool, it collects urine, it collects water. So this board needs to be pressure washed because because of rabbit's urine and uh, the, the what how the urine is that it contains quite a bit of heavy minerals like calcium for example the urine goes onto the board and it creates a it creates a coating so you can also see a bit of this right here um, if this isn't cleared off right away on these pens then it needs to be then it uh, it collects additional debris so one of the first things you can see is this L clip right here there are three of them. There's one right here, there's one in the middle, and there's one on the other side. This helps support the back of this pen. So for hanging it as well, you're gonna see that this clip, this, is, this was actually put in place to help the back of the wire cage stay on. And you wanna make sure as much as possible that your cage is level, which you can use a level to do. So when you're mounting the front of the cage, that was the back of the cage, just the two different pieces of hardware that were used. But when you're mounting the front of the cage, this is what we're actually working with right here. Let's see if we could get a good view. So we'll start at the top. Right at the top, this is, uh, this is part of the roof, and we have this four foot wooden bar, and it's secured. It is um, secured on each of these supports. And then you have right here, the chain is attached. This is adjustable. This is attached to another four foot board. And the board, as you can see, it sits inside the pen. This is what holds the pen up. So you have this is the back of the pen on the top. You have, let's check underneath here. You have an L, this is a little bunny foot. You have an, uh, an L clamp, an L bracket right there to help support the bottom. So this is the top, this, we have the bottom. And then you can see there's nothing at the front side right here, but the entire front is supported by this setup. So. This is something that I had not seen before for supporting the wire pens and one of the reasons, there's a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons is really this debris. This is, this is a pain. The more wood that we have with Angora rabbits, what we found is 
um, not with all Angora rabbits, because some Angora rabbits don't spray. Some Angora rabbits are incredibly clean. Some Angora rabbits, they don't chew on the wood. Um, some Angora rabbits, they can live in wood, and because of their wool type, because the owners clean off the wool every or clean off the wood every single day, they don't have to worry about these. But with my rabbits, if they could get access to the wood, the chances are that they're going to try and chew on it. And so this this entire mess really uh, we wanted to avoid that so we have four of the four foot pens and so they're all the same the exact same this is adjustable on every single one of them you have to pay attention on these because sometimes with the rabbit moving around and hopping around sometimes they do get loose so this is the ideal uh, for suspending our, our large wire cages. This is the ideal suspension system because of the limited amounts of wood. And like I said, the more wood for us, the more mess that we had. And then when you have wood that's trapping, you have also the increase in the smell. So now we're gonna show you another setup over here. This one has two grow out pens. There used to be four grow out pens. And these pens are two feet by two feet, and they're 18 inches tall. So they're two feet uh, deep, they're two, uh, two feet long this way. These are small because this is temporary housing. So these bucks, this is temporary housing for this little dude, and then temporary housing for the little dude who's enjoying a snack. Hello, ostrich! What a cutie. So, um, this is a different way that this is. These are suspended. This has a lot more wood, which is not, which is not a positive. However, the cages are smaller, so um, it's a little bit easier to clean. For the back of these, it's just resting right here on this wooden board. However, there is a screw that you can just barely see that's that's in place in the back that keeps it screwed down, uh, and the board runs the length. We have this here to cover uh, the barn as wood. And so you have, as you can see, urine. We have this to cover it up. Otherwise, if there was urine and if the wood was getting wet, you're really coming across the same problem of um, just difficult to clean and wet wood is not good. So this one already has chew marks in it, which is kind of difficult to see. But this little board, because the rabbit can access it, this these boards have been chewed. And so again, that's one of the things you wanna consider when you're considering supporting your cages, is if the rabbit can chew it, it will. So this board here runs along the front, and we're gonna show you one right here. This is attached again to the roof, and then it has a support right here that keeps it steady. So if we back up, this is what you're looking at. You have two of these, one here, one over here. This is the exact same thing. Um, we use the center. This is, this is where all my stuff is. It's also like a workbench. It's nice and tall for me. And it comes up to, let's see, it comes up way above my hip. It comes up like above my belly button. Really, um, if I were to stand and show, try to show you, Kind of hard to see but it's it's nice and tall that's what i like that keeps your rabbit at eye level there, there's no bending over when you're working on a rabbit here and we have all sorts of all sorts of stuff up there so anyways you have the same thing you have another you have another two foot by two foot pen and um you're just looking at another wire pen that is supported you have the wood here this yeah, uh, this is not suspended. These are not suspended for the top because this is more of a flexible area And this is also something that we were trying out kind of experimental to see with the uh, Just the differences between the two setups when you're suspended like this and then when you have these right here we're just testing out two different ways of, of um, Putting the pens on so to be honest, one of the great things about this is the breeze, the airflow, that the, the bunnies really 
get um, they get a lot of fresh air, and in the winter time, that is actually a disadvantage because we have to cover. Hello, we have to cover up the sides of this rabbit tree because the open wire, even though they have their um, even though they have their wooden boxes, because you have the wire pens, you're really looking at uh, in the winter time too much airflow. So in the summertime, we love it. We love the airflow. It's great. We open it right up. It the suspension also helps with the droppings. And so these droppings, it comes straight from the underside of the rabbit pen. It drops straight down. This can easily be cleaned up. We have our wheelbarrow right here, our shovel back there, our little pitchfork to help clear everything up. But um, one of the things that I think is we don't have we do not have a lot of rabbits we never keep a lot of rabbits that's just not the sort of rabbitry oh hello mariah carey that's just not the sort of rabbitry i raise uh that i that i run and so um for me still even though these large pens they're suspended they help with health they help with airflow they help with limited uh limited wood exposure there's still a rabbit in a pen <laughs> and Yes, it's a big rabbit pen, which allows them the opportunity to hop around, but it is still wire, which means you still need something wood for your rabbit or something uh, something that's not wire for your rabbit to rest on. And that's important because you, you know, you don't want to stand on, you don't want to stand on wire all day. That would hurt your feet. They don't want to stand on wire all day. And we trade out just different different parts and different pieces, but one of the one of the disadvantages of that, let's see if I can show you, of the wood is this is uh, the top of Claire's. So she has a little, if they go to the bathroom, you have to, you know, clean these off, clean these wooden things off. But advantages and disadvantages, hello Claire. And when you're thinking about setting up your rabbitry, that's how we suspended our hanging, our hanging cages, our hanging pens. And our goal, our hope is we've been doing a lot of a lot of research on uh, different housing options besides the pens. And hopefully in the future we can we can present something that is even better than this housing option for you. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful on how we suspend our wire rabbit pens. And we hope to see you in our next video. Bye bye.